My last video showed how we came up with this uh, graphic with the memory tool King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Using this graphic, we're going to learn how to convert between units. Okay, let's start with this problem, going from a very small unit to a very large unit. So how many kilometers are equal to 72 millimeters? Well, this is going to end up being a very, very, very small number. So how we solve this is we start both of our fingers on milli because that was our starting prefix. And then I move my finger to the left until I reach kilo. And I count every time I move my finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. I move my finger six times to the left. Whatever I do with my finger, I'm going to also do with the decimal. You might say, well, miss, I don't see a decimal here. Where's the decimal? Well, hopefully you recognize 72 is the same thing as 72.0. And since I moved my decimal six times to the left, I'm going to draw little loops to show each time I move it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to fill each loop with a zero. And then I need to rewrite it, removing the initial decimal and putting it in the new location where the arrow is. Point zero, 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 seven, two. Could also write that zero, it's the same meaning in the end. And we usually don't start a number with a, just a decimal, so we would put a zero in front. Okay, so this is the answer that you would write here. So let's say this was the problem you were trying to solve 85 kilometers equals how many centimeters? So your first step is to take two fingers. And to take your two fingers and put them right on your starting unit. So I'm starting with kilo. So I'm going to put here on kilo. And then I, I'm going to move one finger towards my ending unit, which is centi. One, two, three, four, five times I moved my finger in that direction. So that means I'm going to move the decimal, which would start here five times, one, two, three, four, five times to this spot. In each of these loops, I'm going to fill in with a zero. Okay, and then I would have to rewrite my number nice and neat. Eight, five, one, two, three, four, five, zeros, one, two, eight million five hundred thousand centimeters is equivalent to 85 kilometers. The same system works for transferring units within volume as well. So here we're going to go from milliliters to liters and you might say, hey, where there's no prefix here. There's just one letter. That's because liter is one of the base units. So that means we're going to go to this spot. So we're going to start on milli, put both fingers on milli, and then go over one, two, three spots to the left uh, to find liters. So that means my decimal started here. I'm going to move it three times. One, two, three. And so my decimal is going to now go in this spot. 8.752 liters. So in my years of teaching, I've seen a variety of common mistakes. The first one is being sloppy. So for in example, in this case, we're starting at centi and we want to convert to kili. So we want our fingers to move one, two, three, four, five times to the left. So the decimal should move five times to the left. 
what kids will do is they will go one, two, and then they'll do something like that. And so it's unclear how many loops. And then they'll pro sometimes instead of putting their zeros clearly inside the hole, they'll write their zero like overlapping like that. So they end up with the incorrect number of zeros in their answer. So be neat. Don't be sloppy with those loops or you will make mistakes. This problem shows another situation where kids often make mistakes. If you want, you can pause and try to answer the problem on your own to see if you get tricked by this problem or not. What kids will do is they will see this M and they will see that M and they will go from kilo all the way to milli, even though this is not milli. M here is for meters, which is a base unit. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention. If there's just one letter here, that means we're going to go to the base unit. Or if we're starting with meters, you would start at the base unit. Do not get tricked by meters by itself. Kids always, always mistake it for milli. Don't be that kid. The third common mistake that I see is that students will use their pencil up here and they'll start drawing loops. So um, they'll do something like this. And that's going to cause them to be off uh, by one digit when they are converting. So it's very important that on your line like this, that you, you use your fingers and you completely cover the letters. And you only draw loops when you're using your pencil. The final mistake that I see a lot of is students will leave the original decimal in or they'll leave these arrows or loops in and um, that's not acceptable. So for example, they might turn in something like this. What is that? That's not a number. Okay. Or they might also leave the loops in there. So that's not clear what's happening. So make sure you rewrite your answer very nice and clear and that you always write units, whatever units you were told to convert uh, the unit into.